watch tonight. In a regular season game, John Saunders and Bob Valvano, these schools being so, so close, the band is here, the cheerleaders are here, there are fans here from Dayton. This is just all about atmosphere. 19,049 is the sellout, so that's what we've got here tonight. Of course, they haven't played in 20 years, so it's not a common occurrence. Two proud programs, both of whom have won the NIT in the past, and this is a very, very interesting matchup in a great atmosphere. And again, we have two seniors in our Star Watch who are trying to extend their careers and get to Madison Square Garden. They they play their best in the biggest games. Brian Roberts, as as Ohio, excuse me, as Dayton has had two great wins, 28 points over Louisville, and in the win over Louisville, and 31 in the win over Pittsburgh. And Jamar Butler in this tournament already is shooting 16 of 28, has 13 assists, and has two 20-point games, and he's been brilliant in this NIT. Oh, nice lob in the Hunter. What a great call by Fat Mata. All right, take a look here. You see Hunter's all the way on the left of the stack, and just a nice quick hit here. See, a couple of guys don't see the basketball, and that's when you get paid, when you're going to pay. They set a nice screen for him, and he curls around, and the guys away from the ball who had their back turned couldn't react to it because they couldn't see it. Perfectly designed play. They've got to get to creases in their defense and get inside, and they did it there. Oh, what a pass! From Diebler down to Hunter. <laughs> it's just... Swinging at each other at each end. Switching a lot of things and Dayton playing very close attention to that guy. He makes a nice dish, though. Oh, what a night for Burks by Terwilliger on the pass from Butler. Great drive and dish again. Both guards will take what they give you. Butler's got to be resting hit. a bit uneasy because you notice there are no number one seeds making their way to New York. Again, though, out of the timeout. Right. Yeah. That would have been an interesting banker. Oh, oh then Twilliger swats that one right back to the court. Twilliger really is a hustle player. He almost ran into us on Monday night going over us, and look at this block. That was a terrific job of bailing his teammates out because you let Roberts get that far without stopping the ball. He's going to make you pay more often than not. So Williger showing the experience that comes with being a senior. Here's another one. Roberts won't get that one to go. Butler ahead. It looked like he was looking for the lob down to Kirkus. And it goes out to the loose ball. Largest lead of the game for the Ohio State Buckeyes. They trail by one at half. But Butler, the senior, says, I don't want my career to end. Not yet. Yeah, yeah, behind the play, so Diebler got the wide open shot. Butler around the lighty screen, and then a three-pointer! I, I just... If you haven't had a chance to appreciate how easy he makes difficult plays look. You haven't been watching these last three games. percent shooting in the second half for the Buckeyes. Seven of their first ten. Watch Butler here. Watch. They say great players make the game look slow. Look at his eyes. Looking back that way. Sees that the defenders are not coming after him. And just like a stroll in the park, knocks that jump shot down. You realize why that looks slow. That that's called slow motion. <laughs> it's it a television show. <laughs> High off the glass. But Butler, those are two of their favorite things. Roberts used the glass, and Butler's one of those courtly right-handed players who prefers shooting going to his left. So makes it look, again, very simple. They both have the ability to do that. That's just the third field goal of the half for Dayton. The left. Oh. Butler has got it going here in the second half. Let's first we'll take a look at, at Butler here again. Well, now this is slow motion again. So yes, I that's right. That's not game <laughs> speed, but he just makes things look so simple. We'll take a look at it in real time here, though. Does that look just calm? That's not easy to do. With eight points, but Butler in the second half has really. Lighten up the game. That's one of those ones where you say, look what I found, right? I was going to say, if you're playing well, you get lucky. Look at the movement without the ball. Terrific job. That's a great shot going to his left. He felt how much likes to do that. But he's terrific when he has to handle the ball against the press. And when he gives the ball up and can play without it, he's outstanding. He takes you down under the basket, 
And then it is an obstacle course. He's going to run you either way and take you off a series of screens. And you see all the school records he holds. Uh, 102 wins. I was going to say, that's the one. He and Terwilliger, 102 wins. And the winningest seniors in the history of the proud basketball tradition here in Ohio State. Back in Columbus with the Ohio State Buckeyes are 314 away from a trip to Madison Square Garden. ABC's your NBA Let's see if we're going yeah, to make wholesale changes here. And I imagine Butler will be coming out of the game, his final home game. And they'll want to get him a nice standing ovation. People are standing already. And there he goes. I'll be interested to ask him afterwards the emotions going through his mind right now. And Roberts, his final college game. We'll get an ovation from the Dayton fans here. He's a finalist for the Cousy, the Wood, and the Naismith Awards. That's pretty impressive. And not a, not a bad list to be on. It was a little too much tonight. A tremendous second half by the Buckeyes. They trailed by one at halftime, and they win it by 11. Four players in double figures, 25-10 run in the second half to break the game wide open. Ten up on the rebounding as well. So again, a look at the four that make it to Madison Square Garden. Ohio State, the first number one seed to make it there. The other three all two seeds, Ole Miss, Florida, and UMass. Final score again, 74 to 63. For more on this game, be sure to tune into ESPN News for our post-game extra. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. For Bob Balvano and our entire crew, I'm John Saunders. Now let's take you out to Sports Center.